For problem number 26 on page 269, we're asked to give the, find a quadratic model to represent the path of the javelin. Now it gives you a table there. Really. I'm not gonna write the table here. But the table shows, uh, first of all, let's go ahead and clear out any equations we have stored in our y equals. We go to stat, edit, and uh, we wanna clear our tables as well. So we're gonna move our cursor to list one and hit the up arrow to highlight the name of list one, which is L1, clear, enter. So we're clearing our lists. Highlight L, L2, hit clear, enter. And now it, we've made room for uh, putting inputting our data from the table. And it looks like the height, uh, let's see, the table shows the height of the javelin as it, as it is thrown and travels across a horizontal distance. So distance depends on height. Height depends on distance. So we're going to say, since the, the numbers that come first are the distance, we're going to say uh, the height depends on the distance. So we're just going to type in the numbers in our first column. And um, I'm going to pause the video and um, so I can do that. So after typing in all the numbers, I just didn't want you to have to sit there and watch me type in all the numbers. Once we have the numbers in there, we want to find a quadratic model. But I think it would be kind of nice to see why we would want a quadratic model. So go to your y equals and select plot one. Up arrow, plot one is selected, hit enter to select it. And now moving the cursor off of that, we can see that plot one is selected. And if we want to see the scatter plot based on the data, we push zoom, and then we can scroll down to hit zoom stat, or we can just do zoom nine, enter. And we can see clearly that that is not a linear relationship. And it's asking us for a quadratic, and that's the reason. Because the, uh, the farther away the, the javelin is from the person who threw it, the higher it is for a while, and then, the, and then it eventually comes down. So we want to calculate a quadratic model. So we hit stat, right arrow for calc, and then quadratic model, that's quad reg for quadratic regression model. And we, once we highlight that or just hit uh, stat calc uh, five, we highlight it and hit enter. And then now we, we wanna store that equation in Y1. So to get Y1 on our screen, we go through that again, hit vars, right arrow for Y variables, enter for function mode, and enter to select Y1. That puts the Y1 right where we want it. And then we hit the down arrow or enter and then enter for calculate, and we can see we have our, our parameters for our quadratic model. So therefore, we have y equals negative 0.004 x squared. So the a value is point, negative 0 0.004, the b value is 0 0.352, and the c value is 0 0.369, plus, plus 0.369. So there's our quadratic model. And that's all we were asked to find here, so we don't need to do anything else. That's it.